Hello everyone, I'm Sam from Huawei 2012 Laboratories and I'd like to thank all students and teachers for your interest in the Huawei ICT competition. The registration for the latest competition has now started and in this video I'll be introducing the competition to you in detail. The video will be divided into two parts. First, I will introduce the innovation competition rules, competition topics, evaluation criteria and learning resources. In the second part, to give you a better idea of what makes a good entry, we will look at a previous winning entry. I hope this information will be useful when you're preparing your entry. This is the eighth consecutive year that Huawei has held the ICT competition. It is an annual ICT competition for college students around the world. The theme of this year's competition will continue to be connection, glory and future with I see the future as the slogan. The competition aims to work with governments, higher education institutions, training facilities and industry companies around the world to help foster a vibrant global ICT talent ecosystem. Having been run seven times already, the different systems and resources of the ICT competition are now quite mature. In March 2021, the China Association of Higher Education, or CAHE, added the Huawei ICT competition to the 2020 National University and College Student Competition list, recognizing it as one of the most significant competitions for higher education institutions. As of September this year, Huawei ICT competition has covered 85 countries and regions around the world, with more than 580,000 students enrolled in the competition. This year's Huawei ICT competition will be divided into the practice competition and innovation competition. The newly established AI innovation track aims to promote AI innovation and application capabilities of university students and discover AI innovation talents by combining the most innovative technologies in the ICT field. The AI innovation track focuses on the all round application and innovation capabilities of students in AI and ICT technologies. Contestants need to design a solution that generates both social and commercial value using Huawei AI technology, or a combination of AI with other technologies, such as Open Harmony, IoT, Big Data, Cloud Computing, and Mobile Internet. The solution can use either software or a combination of hardware and software. I'll tell you more about the detailed rules of the competition a little later. Let's take a look at the schedule of the innovation competition. This is just a proposed schedule. The specific schedule may vary from region to region. So make sure you follow the information released on the Huawei ICT competition official page and pay special attention to the registration deadlines of your region. The innovation competition is divided into three stages, registration, preliminary competitions, and global final. As for the registration phase, we recommend that the registration time for each regional innovation competition starts from September 1st and closes on December 25th. Please complete the online registration, entry application form, and entry design before the regional registration deadline, which is announced on the official website of the competition. The judges are expected to review the material submitted by all teams from December 26th to December 31st after which the list of teams that make it through to the preliminary national and regional competitions will be released. To find out exactly how and when the list will be published, be sure to follow the official website of the competition. In the preliminary phase, teams that have entered the preliminary national and regional competitions will be given resources on Huawei Cloud. The participating teams can use these resources to help design and develop their entries more efficiently. We will also organize relevant training and Q&A sessions from this November to next February. The teams of the preliminary competitions should submit the complete entries around the end of next February, including the presentation document and the demo video. And once again, for the exact submission deadline and submission requirements of your region, you can pay attention to the information released on the official page of the competition. After the review, the final list for the global final is expected to be announced in mid-March next year. The final stage is the global final. Teams that advance to the global final must submit their final entries by May 5th, 2024. In mid-May 2024, Huawei will organize finalists to present their entries and give their defenses to compete for the global awards. And just a final reminder, for the specific implementation plan and plan of the global finals, 
watch out for information released on the official page of the competition. This page shows you how to officially register for the Huawei ICT competition. You can visit the page by scanning the QR code. Here, you can sign up for the competition and get more information. Now, I'd like to introduce the requirements of the innovation competition and the resources that Huawei can provide. For the technology selection, you must use at least one Huawei AR-related technology to design an entry that addresses specific challenges in industries. Such technologies can include MindSpore, CAN, and Model Arts. In addition to this, we also encourage you to combine such AI-related technologies with other technologies, such as Open Harmony, Cloud Computing, Big Data, and IoT. For the industry scenario selection, the innovation competition requires you to solve problems in real-life scenarios through technology application and innovation. Later, I will give some example scenarios. In terms of resource support, teams that are successfully registered and have passed the preliminary entry design review will receive Huawei resources such as Huawei Cloud coupons, enablement courses, documents, and tools. These will be sent to the contact of each team. You are also more than welcome to use the hardware and software resources of your school. Next, let's look at the three innovation competition topics one by one. The first topic is the general AI topic. For this topic, you must use Huawei technology to develop an app or an integrated hardware software entry and ensure that the app or entry can run on Harmony OS devices. Now, there are two options here. One is to use only Huawei AI related technologies, such as MindSport or CAN. The other is to combine one or more of these AI technologies with Open Harmony. Preferred scenarios include real life scenarios or industries such as transportation, finance, and agriculture. Here, we've listed a few examples, such as intelligent traffic prediction, financial risk prevention, and more. The second topic is about AIoT, which focuses on the convergence of AI and IoT technologies. For this, you must use Huawei cloud technologies like AI, IoT, and Open Harmony to develop practical and innovative AIoT applications that achieve device cloud synergy in IoT industries. In this topic, preferred scenarios include those within energy, manufacturing, transportation, logistics, healthcare, campuses, cities, and agriculture. Examples include smart menus on the refrigerator door that can automatically offer healthy recipe suggestions, or speakers that can be used to control home appliances. And we have a few other examples here that you can take a look at. Note that these examples are all very focused use cases. You can bear that in mind when planning your entry. It's important to note that IoT or Open Harmony devices used in entries must be connected to the Huawei Cloud IoT platform. You need to develop a software entry or an integrated hardware software entry based on this platform and must ensure that it can be deployed on the cloud with a relatively stable performance. And you must use IoT DA or IoT Edge and combine it with Huawei's other technologies like AI, Open Harmonies and Big Data to develop entries. And finally, the third topic focuses on the model arts platform of Huawei Cloud AI. For this topic, you should use Huawei Cloud AI model arts to develop innovative intelligent applications. Here, preferred scenarios include those within industries like logistics, governments, energy, transportation, production, manufacturing, airports, healthcare, electric power, and retail. One example is a smart logistics application that improves goods sorting and packing efficiency. Again, we've listed some more examples here for your reference. You should also be aware that Huawei Cloud AI involved in the entry must be developed based on the Huawei Cloud AI development line model arts. In this way, you need to build complete applications such as mobile apps, PC or Mac applications, and web services. And you need to specify which part of your entry has used model arts. Next, I'll introduce the competition rules and requirements. First, you must use Huawei AI related technologies, such as MindSpore, CAN, and Model Arts. This is a hard requirement. In addition to this, we also encourage combining such AI related technologies with other technologies, such as Open Harmony, Cloud Computing, Big Data, and IoT, along with the hardware and software resources of your own school. With these, you need to design an entry that addresses specific challenges in industries. 
We also require you to specify the Huawei technologies used in the architecture, process, and code of your designs. In your final entries, we recommend that you present key points such as solutions, functions, value, and issues to be resolved. Third, the design must be original, innovative, and practical. The entry should have comprehensive functionality and deliver logical and smooth user experience. Fourth, designs must be able to solve specific issues in real-life scenarios or in a certain industry. Fifth, a design can be a software system or an integrated hardware-software platform featuring device pipe cloud synergy. Sixth, all designs shall not violate national laws and regulations or contain discriminatory content relating to gender, nationality, and religion, or infringe on others' privacy. And last, it is prohibited to directly use entries previously used in other competitions without making any improvements. Otherwise, the team will be disqualified. Aside from these rules, there are some requirements to be aware of. Contestants should be undergraduate, postgraduate, or PhD students from a university or college. Each team must comprise a maximum of three students and one instructor, all of whom are from the same tertiary institution. We do encourage students with complementary skills or varying academic levels to collaborate to form a team and also to leverage innovation potential through effective division of labor. Know that each contestant can participate in only one track of the innovation competition. In other words, if you participate in the practice competition, you must not attend the innovation competition and vice versa. Also, teams need to register successfully to attend the innovation competition, and any teams that do not adopt Huawei's technologies in their projects or entries will be disqualified from the competition. And one final point is that you cannot change the instructor or students of a team after successful registration. Here, I'd like to draw your attention to the review criteria and entry requirements of the AI Innovation Competition. This year's AI Innovation Competition puts much emphasis on the creativity of the entries. The solution should be able to solve problems in real life scenarios, and there should be no well-known similar solution in the industry. It should also make breakthroughs and innovations in business models, management operations, process optimization, and application scenarios. The design of the entry also needs to take into account the system and technical complexity. As we mentioned already, the entry must use Huawei AI-related technologies and be presented in the presentation document. The resources and platforms provided by Huawei should be fully used to integrate multiple ICT technologies, and these resources and technologies should be of great value to the overall solution. Other assessment items include social value and comprehensive functionality completeness. The project should have public value or show potential of commercial profitability. In addition, the solution should fully consider all aspects of the problem to be resolved and have a complete set of functions for all possible situations. As for the submission requirements of the entry, please carefully read the type, format, and upload content requirements, and take note of the deadline for uploading the materials. Specific requirements can be found on the official registration page of the competition. Next, I'll introduce to you the learning space of the innovation competition. This space contains the exam outline, which is what I just introduced, including the positioning, plan, topics, and review standards. There are also learning materials and previous winning entries on display. You can easily find the learning space of this AI innovation competition by visiting the official registration page of the competition. So I've now introduced the rules, topics, and review criteria related to the AI innovation competition. Next, we'll look at a winning entry from last year so that you can get a quick understanding of what makes an entry successful. In this way, you can learn a few tips which will come in useful when you are preparing your entry. Here, we've summarized some of the key points to a successful entry. In terms of scenario selection, we suggest you focus on one with social and commercial value, and is better if the scenario is highly focused rather than too broad. It can also combine a social or engineering practice together with a paper. In this way, you can continue your innovation at the same time as taking part in the Huawei ICT competition. Some example scenarios include intelligent transportation, smart healthcare, smart life, industrial inspection, smart city, smart logistics, smart agriculture, and smart government. In terms of technology, I've already introduced the requirements in detail. Just to re-emphasize, all entries must use Huawei AI technology. But besides this, we don't recommend going into too much detail in terms of insights and background. 
Instead, it's better to focus on the design architecture of the solution, the specific key technologies used in your entry, the function demonstration files of the entry, and the application value of the entry. Now, let's look at an actual winning entry from last year. This will give a clear picture of what makes an entry successful. Here, they give a brief introduction to the team, and then they introduce the different members of the team. Here is an outline of the presentation, which is very clear. This is a good example. They first explain the problem that they are going to try to solve. In this case, it is the harm posed by waste that isn't properly disposed of. Then the name, positioning, use case, and main function of the solution are explained. We can also see the appearance of the solution. Next, they provide the technologies used in the solution and show the system architecture, as well as the concept and design flow. It also shows the model development process and the technology used, including snippets of actual code. They also clearly describe which Huawei technologies are used. The material also includes a demo video showing the solution in operation. Here, they also show the value proposition of the solution. If they could also provide some testimonials, that would be even better. We can see that this entry meets many of the key items I just introduced. Let's take another look at the suggestions on this page. I hope you can read and understand them carefully and apply these tips to the actual entry design. Finally, please pay attention to the registration deadline for the AI innovation competition of the Huawei ICT competition for your region and submit the registration information and documents within the specified time. That brings us to an end of this talk. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found it useful and I wish you all great success in the AI innovation competition of the 8th Huawei ICT competition.